Hi everybody and welcome to Creativity Under Pressure episode 7. I am Tracy Batiste. I am a children's book writer and I work at Leslie University in their low residency creative writing program and I run the editorial company Fairy God Author. And today we're actually going to be talking still about supporting the subconscious but we're going to be talking a little bit about luck. So there's this great story about um, the origin of the chocolate chip cookie, which is the most popular kind of cookie in the United States. So uh, this woman was baking and she was trying to make chocolate cookies and she didn't have the cocoa powder that you would use to make chocolate cookies. So she decided to just take pieces of chocolate and um, crumble them up and put them into the cookie batter and bake them. And her hope was that in the baking process, the chocolate would, would just melt through and make chocolate cookies. Well, that didn't happen. The chocolate didn't melt through. They stayed as these little chocolate pieces. And that's how chocolate chip cookies were made. Now, the thing about that is she kind of had to recognize her good luck in finding a new way to make cookies. The thing is, she may not have been the first person to have done that. Somebody else could have tried the same thing and when the cookies came out, decided that those cookies were a disaster and moved on, you know, like threw out that batch and, and moved on. So part of being able to be creative and do creative things is to recognize your own luck and to support yourself in recognizing your own luck you have to give ideas a chance and so i think i've mentioned before how i use sticky notes so i, I do use sticky notes in my work so when i have a little idea you know those little ideas that just come to you like just you know one phrase or one word or um, one very short burst of scene and you would normally write that down in your notebook and so on. I tend to write them down on post-it notes. And the reason that I do that is because I can stick them up on my wall. And when I stick them up on my wall, they're there and I can sort of see them all the time. When they're in a notebook, you know, like when they're in my notebook, they're closed and I'm not looking at it often. Um, but when, I'm, when I can see it all the time, it helps to make connections and it makes more and more connections. So I find that I'm using my sticky note and then there's a whole bunch of them on the wall and all of a sudden I can start seeing kind of a story. So I do use sticky notes in that way. So I sometimes use larger sticky notes where if I just wanna write a whole bunch of things down, um, I will use a larger sticky note. And I tend to organize all of the sticky notes on a really big sticky note pad um, where I will put the smaller notes around and then I can move them around. And that's actually how I organize my ideas. And it is one way to focus your subconscious and also to increase your luck because being able to be lucky involves a little bit of effort. People who are prepared are luckier than people who are not. So that is one strategy to try. And that is the end of our seventh session. Thank you. Bye.